We're really spoilt for choice in the Macedon Ranges for walking. There's so many different places you can go to explore and different environments to experience. Uh, Mount Macedon, great opportunity to get back to nature, have the fresh air, beautiful scenery. It's just an all round uh, good location, I guess, for families. Uh, you can go walking, you can come up for a picnic. Uh, when we come as a family, we come up here regularly and we spend the day. We love it. We start at Dave's Picnic Ground and it's a short walk there to Sanitarium Lake, which is great for the family and the kids. From there, it's not far over to Memorial Cross. Um, it's an iconic monument within the area. A lot of people come up to pay their respects on Anzac Day and also Remembrance Day. If you're up for a more challenging walk, there's the uh, Camel's Hump. It's a great opportunity to get the heart racing, um, some steep inclines, but by the time you get to the top where I am now, you can just see the reward with the scenery that's on offer. Outside of Mount Macedon, there's these amazing sort of like hidden gems that people just don't really know about. Every town in the Macedon Ranges has this amazing walking track along a creek. So Woodend has uh, the Five Mile Creek, which we really love. But also in Kyneton, in, there's the Campaspe River. So Black Hills is a lovely reserve just on the outskirts of Kyneton. It's about 100 hectares. It's got this beautiful uh, granitic feature. A lovely walking circuit around the outside. We can go up and over the ridge. And that's got lots of exploring to be had across the big boulders and through the caves. We've got an amazing amount of wildflowers that you'll see in spring. It's also got heaps of kangaroos and a threatened species survives here that is very rare in the area and it's called the brush-tailed fascagal. And we've found lots of those in this reserve and it's one of the reasons why it's just such a special place. So once your day is done, there's just so many lovely places to go and wind down. Great cafes, bars, pubs, brew houses, and beautiful wineries to go and enjoy at the end of the day. And you're only an hour from Melbourne, easy weekend or day away. <laughs>